project, we got our pieces for the um, plexiglass box, and um, we silicone um, the walls together. And we're going to we cut this little piece out of the top, and we're going to stick a thermometer in, and then we're going to have. I think a wooden piece on the bottom though, and then a light bulb. We're gonna hook up a light bulb, and we are going to. I'm going to have two more boxes: a wooden one and um, a styrofoam box. And um, all three of them are gonna have light bulbs, thermometers, and we are going to see which. Um, which one of the boxes um, retain the most heat. And then I'll record that down. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Do the other one. Here's the styrofoam box. Here's the wooden box. And my plexiglass box. And um, so after we put them together, um, then when we're done, when they're done drying, um, we are going to put in the bottom um, the wooden pieces that are going to hold the light bulbs. And then um, there are little slots on the top where we are going to put in the thermometers. Um, and then I will um, take, uh, I will record all of everything, all of the temperatures um, at a certain time every day and night and then um, We 
start really um, what we're trying to test out. So I better start painting. <laughs> box and here's my glass box. Um, the thermometers stick out. Um, you, this way you can read what temperature it'll, it probably won't get much farther down. And then um, we have the light bulb inside um, which provides the um, heat source. Um, it'll be turned on of course. Um, and then, and so each of them have them. And so then um, you can read them. And we'll just um, we'll have, um, we'll put them outside overnight. And um, then um, record the temperatures um, down. And um, so. There we have our science project. So every day, about um, one week, I um, took the readings on all three of my boxes, and um, I recorded my data. hypothesis was that the plexiglass would retain the most heat. What actually happened was that the styrofoam retained the most heat. <laughs> 